44 ain't really retired. That's the comment that somebody left on one of my previous videos. I beg to differ and in this video I'm going to lay out my reasons why. I got the impression from the comment from that person that they thought that because I was 44 I couldn't class myself as retired even though I had actually stopped work. So that got me thinking, can you really only class yourself as retired if you're in your 60s and you've reached pensionable age as far as the state is concerned and until then you're not retired? I don't agree with that. I think you can retire at any age, 33, 44, 55. 66. I don't think it really matters. It's not up to the government to say, hey, you're retired. It's up to you. I had some very specific reasons for wanting to retire. It wasn't something I'd been planning. I knew one day, like everybody, that I would probably retire. It was fairly normal in my family to reach pension age, stop working and retire. And when I was a young man, that's what I thought I would do. However, by the time I was 44, I had a completely different idea about retirement. By that age, retirement was actually in my grasp. I didn't have to wait until I was 65. I could do it now. The opportunity to sell my business presented itself and I grabbed that opportunity with both hands. The main reason I did was that one year earlier, my father died at age 74 after a short illness. It came as a big shock to me. It made me question everything that I'd previously thought about life and that included retirement. If I only had 30 years left, how much of that would I want to spend working? And not just that, how much of that time working would I want to spend doing what I was doing now? I reached the conclusion that I didn't want to continue doing what I was doing now. So I exited my business, I retired, and I left business leadership and all the pain, challenges and stress that come with it far behind in the rearview mirror. I started a new chapter of life which involved focusing on my family, not on my employees. Looking back at that time, which was 19 years ago now, I realised that I was actually burnt out. I was ready for a rest. I don't think I could have continued to be an effective leader at that age. I was working long hours. I was three stone heavier than I am now. I had no interests, no hobbies, nothing other than my business. At most I used to take two weeks holiday a year. And you won't be surprised to learn that I worked when I was on holiday. I used to take calls from my office all the time. I was always ringing them up, checking in to see what they were up to. I know that was a fault in me. I should have left them alone. Good leadership is about hiring the right people and getting out of the way. And yes, maybe I was a bit of a control freak. I'll admit that now. But whatever, I was burned out. I was ready for that rest. So I finished with my profession and I considered myself fully retired. I didn't work for four years. I'll cover off what I got up to in some of my other videos. After four years, I decided that I needed to do some kind of work again, but I didn't consider myself as being somebody who was coming out of retirement. I was still retired. I was just gonna build some work into that retirement schedule. So I started coaching, consulting, investing and business advisory so that I could use the knowledge that I built up over 20 odd years. But I was still retired. I didn't see myself as being any different from a professional sports person. For many sports, they're at the top of their game in their 20s and 30s and my profession was very similar. It was very much a young person's game. They retired from the thing for which they're known and so did I. I didn't want to be defined by a career I chose at 22. I was now 44. There was a big wide world to see. There were lots of new experiences to have and that's one of the great things about retirement. Professional sports people often do things that are related to their sport. They coach, they become TV pundits, they become sports agents, but they are still retired from professional sports. I wasn't running a business anymore. I wasn't leading people anymore. So I was retired from that thing. Sure, I've worked since, on and off for the last 19 years, I've been doing all sorts of things. Some of them I've already mentioned, coaching, consulting, business advisory, and I've also helped my wife who's got a retirement side hustle as a business. I also helped my son who started a business. So I do put my knowledge to use. I'm not completely idle. I don't spend all my days golfing, mowing the lawn, a man of leisure, but that's my choice. I don't have to work if I don't want to, but I choose to. But that doesn't mean I'm not retired. And if you decide to retire before 50, if you leave your chosen profession, you are retired. Even if you stay in that profession, only working part time. When I visit my local supermarket, I often see older people working the checkouts or helping out. They're obviously still working. They've chosen to work. Sometimes I have a chat with them to find out what their background is. And they've only recently gone into that field. Does that mean they're not retired? 
No, they're retired. They regard themselves as retired. They've just decided to do a type of work for their own personal reasons, but they're still retired. So I'll leave you with a question that I did ask earlier in the video. Are you only retired if you're no longer working? Let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment. What is your opinion on that question? Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you spending time watching this video and I hope the topic has stimulated your interest. If it has, please like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, remember to make every second count. Thank you.